All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rechach Kodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, peace and blessings unto the hopefully elect. And, uh, man, just want to get straight into this, man. And I didn't even plan to know multiple brothers that did lessons on uh, dealing with Negroes, Latinos, and Na Native Americans pushing this wicked vibration and this ignorant vibration to, uh, uh, to get out and vote, man, as if your vote is going to make a difference in this wicked society, man. America was set up on the principles and the foundation of white supremacy, and it still stands today, man. And you people are still going through the same protocol, the same failed tactic of begging this man to, to be accepted in his society, man. We are supposed to be exalted above these other nations, especially the so-called white man. But you people are steady begging for equality when we're supposed to be superior to them, man. But that just shows the, 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 the low state that you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans have been beaten down to because you're steady sitting up here begging this so-called white man for justice in a system that was designed to destroy you and trap you up, man. All right? I'm going to get straight into the scriptures, man. I got an article, article I wanted to go into, man. Uh, uh, Lord willing. Uh, but I'm going to get straight into this first scripture, which is uh, Amos chapter 6 and 1. It says, Woe to them that are at ease in Zion, and two-thirds of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans here on the shores of America are at ease, man. To so call off work, get up early in the morning, go to Starbucks, goddamn, whatever you got to do, and, and get your ass in a long line to go vote. For uh, city officials, senate, man, whoever it may be, man, and think that anything dealing with 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 this so-called government, man, is gonna be beneficial to us as a nation. You got to be bugged out your damn mind, man. And it's it's really nothing but a trend, and everything is a fucking game, man. That's why I said death and destruction to you that are easy in Zion. Zion is talking about you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You look at the, the the smiles on these idiots' faces on on the screen, man. This is nothing but a big joke, man. You don't see the severity of the times that we're in. You don't see how drastic uh, 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 measures are being taken to to uh, for us to be destroyed in prophecy to be upset, man. But we the uh, uh, of the north, the ones that, uh, 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 that understand these scriptures, man. That the Most High rested his uh, Kodash, the Holy Spirit upon, understand what's going on, man. And we understand that there's no bargaining with the so-called white man. There's no bargaining with this system, man. It's designed against us. The only way for us to rise up is for, for Yahweh Shah to return and take this place down, man. Y'all want to vote for all of y'all sit there voting and talking about I've let, uh, let my people vote. Our vote counts. Our vote matters. When does it matter, man? How long are you people going to continue to go down the same road and hit the same dead end before you realize, you know what, this shit not for us, man? Real quick, I'm going to get back to the scripture, but I must bring this out. Second. This is Micah chapter 2 and 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sword destruction, man. And this is evident that this place is not our rest, man. You damn drones got up when voted and then had to carry your ass right back to slavery, man. As if something happened. Thinking that, okay, if we can get Democrats in office, like it matters who's in office, man. Democrats are republic, man. It's all the same, man. They don't control or dictate anything, man. Everything is done according to the desires and the interests of the bankers, man. They control everything, man. They put who they want in office and whatever legislation or whatever agenda they want pushed is what's going to go out, man. And we understand it. We know it's all done by the by the will of the Heavenly Father, man, because it's going to lead to their own uh, destruction, man. Because the blinder and the, and the further you, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans get into darkness, the so-called white man think that he's getting ahead, man. But everything is leading up into his impending doom, man. 
All right. Let me get back to the scripture in Amos. It's Amos 6 and 1. It says, Woe to them that are ease in Zion and trust in the mountain of Samaria. Talking about America, man. Talking about this uh, uh, this place that you love so much that you think that you have equality in because now instead of li living on a plantation and getting your back beat, you can you you paying notes and rent and can drive your ass around and eat fast food all day and then go back to work and, and, and break your back just to make enough money to front on social media like you're doing something big in life. All right. You trust in this place, man. And this is the evidence, man. Nobody's getting out on the streets except the men of the Lord and crying out to the Heavenly Father to deliver us from this oppression. Deliver us from the wickedness of this system, man. Deliver us from this unrighteous rule that's over us, man. You're doing the same thing you've always done. Run the master and beg for mercy. But guess what, man? The Most High is, is going to bring a great judgment on you people because you refuse to turn to the Heavenly Father, man. No matter what, man. You continue to trust in this place, man. All right. All right quick precept. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 5 and verse 3. It says, O Lord, are not thine eyes upon the truth? Thou hast stricken them. Them is talking about you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans once again, man. A rebellious house. But they have not grieved. Thou hast consumed them, but they have refused to receive correction, man. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Y'all the most hard and show proves that you're the Israelites. Just how rock hard headed you are, man. Just how rebellious you are against uh, following the law, statutes, and commandments of the, uh, 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 the scriptures, man. You can't seek after the Lord, man. You trust, you trust in Christianity, man. You trust in Catholicism. You trust in Buddhism, Islam, all this madness, man. But the truth of the word, the truth of the scriptures is going out across the four corners of the earth. And you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans don't want to have nothing to do with it, man. Shows that you have an off and perverse spirit and you're set for destruction, man. So continue to vote and beg this devil for for, for equality and, 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 and equal rights, man. The fuck are equal rights, man? The hell you gonna want equal rights from uh or from a mass murderer, man? All right, it says they have made their faces harder than a rock. They have refused to return, man. You refuse to return. Y'all wanna go further and further into darkness, man? Begging this man for for some type of mercy when this man knows no mercy, man. The Most High did not put. The characteristic or the, the ability to have mercy in the so-called white man. He cannot do it, man. It's not in him. He is a devil, man. He is a fucking madman. All right. Let me get back to this Amos 6 and 1 again. It says, Woe to them that are ease in Zion and trust in the mountain of Samaria, which are named chief of the nations to whom the house of Israel came. How did you come here, man? On cargo slave ships, man. So if you came over here to serve our slavery, in them same spirits, or in the same uh, that that uh, uh, that were in the, the Edomites back then, or in the same, uh, or back today, man, those same people are back in here through reincarnation. And some of them are not even died off, man. Because when y'all was first and during Jim Crow and all that shit, uh, uh, you still seeing the, the remnants of those people still here, man. When y'all was fighting for equality, man, getting your heads bust open with rocks, getting put to death because you wanted to vote. Hey, man, y'all not going to learn until it's too late, man. It's just like uh, in the times of Noah, man. When that rain started fa falling from the sky and the earth started to flood, yeah, that's when y'all believed, but it's, it was too late. So that's the same time way it's going to be uh, this go around, man. When the Lord return, y'all, uh, it, it's going to be too late, man. Y'all going to be jumping and screaming and and praying, trying to remember the name of Yahweh Shah. It's going to be too late, man. And that day, go vote, man. Go get your ass on the ballot and go vote in that day, man. When Jacob's trouble is in effect and see how much your beloved America uh, 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 will uphold and, and, and protect you, man. All right? This is uh, 
Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 1, it says, Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, man. And that's you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to the T, man. You will seek any counsel outside of the men of the Lord, which are speaking through, uh, through the spirit from the Heavenly Father, man. All right? It says, uh, verse 2, it says that walk to go down into Egypt. Egypt is talking about America, man. All right? It says, and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves. Uh, so like, to strengthen themselves. Uh, I'm going to read that one more time. Uh, back at verse 2, it says that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt, man. So what is your modern day Pharaoh, man? What you what you people will call your president, man? And this devil, man, we not ignorant to Satan's devices, man. He didn't set up Trump, so you people is just no matter what, we'll we'll take anything but Trump. Like he's just so much worse than any of the presidents in US history, man. Like Obama didn't wage war constantly. Like he didn't fuck up the economy. But you people are so damn caught up on on, on, uh, with, uh, on what your naked eye uh, shows you, man. And really, you just caught up on what this devil presents before you, man. Grab this preset, man. Because y'all caught up in the witchcraft of Esau, man. Really thinking that the Democrats and the public are against each other, man. They all pushing the same agenda, man. Y'all fall for the same trick every damn time, man. These people, even in the movies, they show you that they, uh, they, they, uh, when they make mock, they make mockery of this so-called voting and, and, and these Democratic and uh, uh, Republican races, man, voting for Senate. They show you that everybody is just crooked, man. They gonna put a, put forth all these promises to uplift the community, fix jobs, bring homes, all to bring jobs back to America, all this BS. But then as soon as they get in office, nothing happens, and then now y'all back in the uproar. But you still caught up in, 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 in by the witchcraft of America, man. So you just go back to sleep and accept whatever this devil presents unto you, man. But uh, this is a uh, second the book of Second Corinthians, chapter two and eleven. It says, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. See, the men of the Lord, man, that you mock, scoff, and look at as crazy, man, we we know what's going on, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Bashim Rukhakodash. We know that this is all a big game. This is all a front for you people to get caught up and feel like you have some type of power in this society, man. When have you ever had any power? Whenever your vote, your voice ever, you don't have a voice, man. Our voice is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. But you guys don't believe in the Most High and His Son. You believe in Serapis Christus. You believe in Buddha. You believe in uh, Haile Selassie and all these other gods, man. You don't trust in the one true living power, man. See, but we understand that this is all a big game, man. That no matter what, there's nothing beneficial but for this system to go down, man. And we're not going to settle for anything else, man. We know that the Lord Yahweh Shah can only do that, man. We can't do it on our own. Our job right now is to prophesy, man. Our job right now is to focus on bringing this word and bringing down the strongholds by bringing out the truth of the word, man. That This is our voice, these scriptures, man. You guys are speaking out of emotion and your own opinions, man. We stick into the word, man, because this, this, is, this is the power, man. This book holds ultimate power man all right this is james chapter 4 and verse 12 it says there is one lawgiver who is able to save and destroy who art thou that judges another man so the most high is, uh, is the only one is the one lawgiver he gave us a perfect law man he gave us a perfect law man but that's why we're waiting on the kingdom so we can be uh uh uh, uh turned into perfect beings man Get it out of this wicked flesh, these chains of darkness, and have uh, the law, statute, and commandments uh, embedded in us, man. To where we won't be able to go off anymore, man. And we'll be able to live a perfect life, man. That's what you should be voting for. You should be voting for Babylon to go down, man. 
our vote and our, it, 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 whether you your vote or whether you like it or not is not going to affect anything, man, because Yahweh Shah is returning and it's going to be hell for anybody who didn't uh, seek him and serve him, man. All right. Grab this precept real quick and get into this article. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 22. It's, uh, it says, "For the Lord is our uh, as our judge, the Lord and man is it, it boy it, it oh man. First of all, when have you ever heard of any female judge, man? But you got uh, 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 Israelite men out here praising the fact that you had well I'm gonna speak on here out in in Houston you had 19 uh, so called African American female judges that got voted in. So now you people are at ease, man." First of all, the, the so-called black woman is fucking... She has no proper judgment. She bleeds once a month. She's emotional. She doesn't deal with logic. She's unfair. And she's all about serving her master Esau, man. So you put a fucking bleeding, menstrual, so-called black woman in a judge seat. You think she's going to judge in righteousness? No, she's judging according to, to this wicked system, man. She's judging, uh, judging according to these penal codes and laws. She's not judging, uh, judging according to the scriptures, man. Man, Isaiah 33 and 22, once again, it says, For the Lord is our judge. The Lord is our lawgiver. The Lord is our king. He will save us, man. So y'all vote all you want, man, but you're going to perish, man. Because it's not going to be quick and, pay and painless. Man, y'all going to suffer a great death for the, for the transgressions, man, and the disrespect, man, that you'll call on this so-called white man. You call on the black woman. You call on a fucking spick, man, to deliver you when when when, when the Most High uh, uh, breathed his spirit into us, man. Gave us a portion of his spirit, man. Gave life unto us, but you trust in this fucking place, man. Man, man, death under you people, man. I want to get this scripture real quick. I mean, there's a, this uh, article uh, I ran across. Uh, you could uh, pull it up on, on Wikipedia, and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the name of the city uh, correctly, but uh, it's uh, Oka E or o uh, Oka 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 but the correct spelling is O C O E E. All right, so it's the Oka E massacre. All right, it says the Oka E massacre was a white mob attack on African American residents in in in, in northern uh, Oka E Oka E, Florida, uh, which occurred in November on November second, nineteen twenty. Man, so this was less than roughly less than a hundred years ago, man. All right. It says uh, the uh, the day of the U.S. presidential election. The town is in Orange, Orange County near uh, Orlando. As many as 50 or 60 African-Americans uh, may have been killed during the riot. The most African-American owned bu uh, buildings and residents in northern Oka E, uh, Oka E, Oka I, however it's pronounced, man, uh, were burned to the ground other uh, african americans living in southern uh, southern uh, south of the city were later driven out for threat of more violence Oka uh, of uh, essentially became an all white town the riot has been described as the single bloodiest day in modern uh modern american political history man so you had these Edomites rise up and start a, a great mob and kill uh, uh, up to 60 uh, Negroes. Why? Well, I'm going to get into it, man. And this was going that went down in history as one of the single bloodiest days, man, on your on, on your U.S. presidential election, man. All right. Uh, I'm reading on. It says the riot, uh, the race riot started and what's coming soon, man, a race riot, man. According to the scriptures, there's a major race riot coming nationwide, man. Why? Because while you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are voting and falling asleep, these damn Edomites are, are getting together and they ready to put you out of debt, man. They stocking up on guns, ammo, not only regular uh, residential Edomites, man, locals, 
but the government itself, man, are stocking up, man. Getting ready to to, to, to bring an all-out slaughter, all-out slaughter on you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And that's the main target. Of course, there's going to be casualties of war amongst these other heathens, man. But everybody uh, uh, is going to be coming after you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Well, I'm mainly talking about these Edomites, man. They see you niggas getting out and voting and thinking y'all got a voice. They, they, they just waiting for the day that they can unleash, man. You just had a young Jake get lynched, man. And y'all sitting out here voting like this place is for you, man. All right? It says the race riot started as a result of white, uh, of white attempts to suppress black voting. All right. It says various uh, black organizations have been conducting voter registration drives for a year in order to have effect on election day. Mo uh, uh, Mosey Norman, a prosperous African American former, had uh, twice tried to vote on election day. Blacks had essentially been disfranchised in uh, in in Florida since the turn of the century, but Norman was among those working on the voter drive. A white mob surrounded the house of Julius July uh, Perry, where Norman was thought to have taken refuge. After Perry drove away the white mob with gunshots, killing two men and wounded one uh, uh, one who tried to break into his house. Well, good job for you, Mr. Julius Perry, for taking out two of them devils, man. But your simple ass shouldn't have been fighting a vote, man. All right? But it says, uh... The mob called for reinforcements from Orlando and Orange County. The whites laid waste to the African American community in the northern city of uh, Oka Oka'i, and uh, and and eventually killed Perry, taking his body to Orlando to hang it from a light post. Norman escaped, never to be found. Hundreds of other African Americans fled the town, leaving behind their homes and possessions. Man, but I just wanted to bring out that article to, to bring out the point that shows you the hatred in the so-called white man. That spirit is still in there, man. Your love is not going to change anything, man. Your vote is not going to change the spirit that the Most High put in there, man. And real soon, these devils are going to grow and show their horns, man. So continue to vote and trust in this system. The most high is going to put your ass to death, man. Lord willing to be real soon, man. A swift judgment is coming to this place, man. Hey, so vote and fucking perish, man. All right? And with that, man, uh, I'm going to end it, man. Lord willing, this is edifying until the most high is elect, man. Death and destruction to anybody else, man. All right? Want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Ruchach I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings unto the hopefully elect. Shalom.